Hello everyone, my name is Ellie Biondi, I manage the Princess of Wales Conservatory. Today I'm going to show you how to propagate some of the most common house plants. To propagate your house plants you will need both plants, some secateurs or a knife, water, pots, compost, a jug or a container with water and maybe some cat litter. We're going to start with the Swiss cheese plant. To propagate this plant, we're going to use a very simple technique. We're just going to take a cutting. As you can see, there are several roots already, some of which are quite healthy. So this will be a perfect root to use. You can just cut at this level, just before the leaf and the other root. And then I'm going to put it inside the jug. You can bend it a little bit. Here there's one uh, I've done previously, so just to give you an idea on what to expect. From the old roots we now have got a lot a lot of beautiful new uh, little roots ready to absorb all of the nutrients and the water and uh, now you can repot it. I've got a pot and I've got a compost. This is just a, a general all-purpose mix. Uh, because they're quite big plants, <laughs> uh, you need to make sure they'll be fairly stable in the new accommodation. You can always stake it at the beginning and just make sure you press it quite well, but at the same time be fairly gentle with the roots because they're new. So, and there you go we will water the plants straight away after repotting. We're now going to look at how to propagate this orchid. This is my personal plant and I would like to donate half of it to a friend of mine, but also is in desperate need to be repotted, needs some food, is quite tired. You can also see some damage on the leaf, but that is just my cat. That's nothing to do with the repotting. So in this case, I'm gonna take it out of the pot. There you go. You can see <laughs> there's not a lot of compost left. However, the roots look uh, very happy. And then you can see at the center, there's somewhat of a natural division already going on. And that's where I'm going to divide this plant. I'm gonna try and do as much as I can with my hands. can be a bit tricky, especially around the top, so I'm going to use my secateurs to do so. So I'm just going to cut it into here, it's a little bit better. So once I've done my division, I'm going to repot it now. I've got this compost here, uh, this is what we use in the tropical nursery here at Kew, but it's good for epiphytes and uh, orchids in general. It's made with uh, charcoal, bark and uh, pumice. You can find something very similar in any shop, just ask for orchid compost. And I'm just gonna put as much compost as I can, make sure I push it down. So I'm just trying to pack in the soil nicely. And of course, some roots will get damaged but the roots are very spongy, there's loads of them. It will bounce back in no time and uh, it's, it's really vigorous. So once I'm happy with it, I'm just gonna put it aside and I'm gonna give it some water. Repeat the same steps for the second ones and uh, my friend, I'm sure she will be very happy. So we're now going to do the spider plant. Um, it's quite hot today and uh, a bit like me, he's suffering. It's a plant that likes more temperate climates and obviously in here it's quite hot, it's all tropical. So it's a little bit droopy, but that's okay, it'll still work. So we've got a lot of little shoots here and uh, as you can see, they've got already some small roots coming out. So we're simply going to cut them off like this and then 
Similarly to the Swiss cheese plant, you could put it in water. Maybe just use, a, you know, like a yoga pot. Otherwise, uh, like we're gonna do now, we're gonna put it in compost. So I've got a little pot here now. Use your finger to just make a little hole and place it inside. Squash the compost a bit so it's quite nice and stable. And then we're gonna water it. Hopefully it'll come back, perk up a bit. <laughs> we're now gonna have a look at a succulent. This uh, specific one is a Echeveria. So we're gonna do some leaf cuttings. So this one is a particularly easy one to do because you can just pull the leaves. But otherwise, to do this, I would uh, use a knife, a quite a sharp, small propagation knife, and then just cut it like this. I've got here a tiny pot with some super uh, free draining compost and I'm just going to place my leaves nicely, kind of a bit horizontally. So in this way, the plant will produce roots, but then after there's the roots are slightly established, it will start producing a little plant just next to your leaf. I have done this um, same process a couple of weeks ago and I just would like to show you what happens. So here I'm just going to take one out to show you. So you see for example here you've got some roots already and just keep an eye on them they don't need a lot, but just a little moisture that's just enough to keep them going. I wouldn't repot my plants just yet. Wait until you get a new little plant just here, which will look very similar to, to the mother plant. And about this size, once you're comfortable, repot them and then They'll grow very easily and you can share them with friends and family. So I left this uh, last <laughs> to preserve my hands. Uh, this is a prickly pear. This uh, special one comes from uh, our collection. These plants, they're very pretty, they're architectural, very cool. They look so cuddly and soft, but they're actually evil. So I'm gonna use for this process these uh, mega tweezers. Uh, so I'll stay well away from it. I'll just look for the pad I would like to take off to go quite close. So I'm just going to take a knife and just cut it where they meet. And there you go. So before you put it um, cacti like that in compost, you need uh, to get them colours, so you need to get the wound to dry. Once the plant is ready, we're going to put it into some compost. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use uh, some cat litter. So now you might think that I'm a weird cat lady. <laughs> I'm not. So it's very porous and uh, is quite good for this kind of propagation. So I'm just going to put some in here. It's a bit dusty. And then I'm just going to put my plants in it. I'm very careful I don't touch this evil thing. And I will not water it. What you need to do it is keep monitoring it. In order to do so, you can simply do this very gently. If you do find some roots, then you can put it in a very open and free draining compost and you can finally water your plants. So that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I also hope to see you at Q soon. Thank you. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more, please subscribe to our channel. There's a special video about the secrets of the Princess of West Conservatory, but also if you can't have enough of propagation, 
there's something about the propagating plants for the Tempera House, another of our beautiful display houses.